We are, as we say, awaiting the release of uh, police dashboard cam footage of uh, Tiger Woods' arrest. New details, by the way, say that his car, well, that he was driving pretty banged up with a broken taillight and mangled bumpers. Uh, we got a hands on the uh, police report. Police officers stating the former golfing great was, well, asleep. The arresting officers saying, quote, it should be noted that Woods was asleep at the wheel and had to be woken up. The vehicle was running. The brake lights were illuminated as well as the right blinker flashing. So far, Tiger's sponsors such as Nike, TaylorMade and Monster Energy are all sticking with the athlete as the investigation goes on. See how Nike traded today. They pay the star, by the way, 20 million a year. The stock faring fine today in the midst of the controversy, up another 33 cents, up about half a percent. All right, Dr. Keith Ablo uh, joins me now. Doctor, thank you so much. When you first saw Pleasure. the mugshot of Tiger Woods, what was your reaction? You know, here's what my reaction was, that he ought to look at, Tiger should look at that mugshot, and he should look at his pictures from the 14 championships that he won, and he should try to figure out what is undermining him. Because it's different for every person, but there's always something. When somebody keeps falling from grace, there's a reason. And psychologically, you can figure it out. But you need to get into therapy, really, that's the gold standard, and burrow down to why it is that you keep tripping yourself up. It's different for every person. You say that people often, even people of his fame and talent, are running away from some sort of pain. Would you say that could be the case with Tiger Woods? Well, sure, because listen, what do we know about Tiger? We know that he says that he had an addiction to women for a time. Now he's got this driving under the influence arrest. You know, you can try to anesthetize yourself with one thing or another, whether it's money or fame or women or prescription medications, whatever it is. It never works. You just buy time. And ultimately, you've got to dig deep and figure out what's the real source of my suffering. Because if you don't love yourself, all the adulation in the world, all the endorsements in the world will not suffice to keep you on your feet. So, Doctor, if he called you right now, he's watching you on television, he decides to give you a call, what do you tell him? I tell him your best days can be ahead of you. Uh, you can't run away from the pain. You've got to run toward it. And it's going to be much easier than you think, much more gratifying than you believe. And it was never about your skill at golf. That's not why you're a worthy person. You're a worthy person because you're elementally worthy as we all are. And if somebody gave you a different idea, you've got to confront that and realize, you know what, no. I can't go chasing after one thing or another to avoid the fact that I was given not what I needed, perhaps when I was very young. 30 seconds, doctor. Um, so I'm assuming he needs to go into rehab. Is that the first step and is that the effective way to go? I don't know whether he's dependent on anything mm. substance wise. You know what I think? I think the gold standard is you find somebody extraordinarily talented in terms of borrowing to the core of your life story with you. Right. You let that person open up the chapters of your life that you've glued shut. And you do it with humility, but you do it with courage. And you're willing to look at anything. And if you're with somebody who's good for that journey with you, who will take it every step of the way with you, Doctor, you can make incredible time. headway. 